After unloading the printer, you need to assemble it. The printer will be delivered to you in this form. Let's start assembling the printer together. An important step when putting the printer on the rails, make sure that these prongs, the guides, are on the print head side. Post a stand up like this. The teeth are here. The print head is attached here. When you put the rails on, you get the guides on the side of the rails. And the printer itself slides onto the rails on the side. So, if we try to lift it up, the printer will be lifted with the rails together. The next stage of assembly. We need to install the drive motor so that the printer itself does not ride on the rails. You will have such a set of hex keys included with the printer. Here you take a 5 mm wrench. The mounting bolts are half turn. They go into these places. and the motor must also be moved forward so that its shaft is in contact with the guides. Now we're spinning it up. And you can see how the bolts are attached right here. Also connect this motor at once. We have two connectors here. The first connector is to the 220 volts mains. The second connector from the motor, it only goes in one position. It's got a special notch here. You can see it if you look closely. The next step is to assemble the upper boom. When you put the arrow here, one mount must be worn in this location. This guide slider in profile. It is very important when fixing the arrow so that the surface at the connection is smooth. We used 4 mm hexagon tool. It's a little crooked right now. We need to fix it and make sure we're all straight. Also attached to fixing plates on the sides for this purpose. We use a 5 mm hexagonal tool so we've got this joint right here. We have four mounting bolts, two up, two down, and tighten.
We also fixed the second side of the arrow as well as the first. The next step is to install a 0.9 meter support. Here it also has two mounts. The bottom part goes in here. Upper part is inserted into this profile. And also use a 5 mm hexagon. It's all dragging on. The next thing to do is to install the drive belt. First, we pass the drive bell through the upper part of the boom. All eyes are on this one. To begin with, we unscrew the upper bolts and disconnect them from each other. We can put the upper part aside for now and start fixing the lower part first. Take the one closest to the profile it goes underneath the motor. And then attach it to your mount. Pin here and also make sure the belt is along the line to the motor pulley. We've checked it out. And now we can tighten the bolts. We also align the upper plate along the edge and tighten one side slightly and also make sure that the lower and upper parts of the belt were, were on the same line I'm going to fix one side slowly. Now we see that it's missing the bottom. It's fine. You can mount it now we take the top plate and put it on as well. Use these bolts to tighten the upper part of the belt to the lower part. Alright, normal tension. Next, we put on the print head. Here we have prefabricated plate for the print head. It's got four bolts on it. These are the print head mounts. Unscrew them. Take our print head. Now it has a chamfer on it, as you can see recess specifically for the plate We install the printing head closer to the plate. We take a number 5 hexagon and tighten it up.
Now the last step is to connect the cable. Please note that on the cable, on the one side, there are wires in such a gray corrugation. This is our upper part. Let's start at the top. The upper part is attached to the upper boom about 20 centimeters down from the top. Here we have three connectors, they're all three different. The most important thing is to connect the fiber optic cable correctly, as there is its own notch. Tighten the remaining two plugs of different sizes until they stop. They also connected in only one position. After that, the cable that is loose must be secured so that it does not interfere with our further operation of the printer. There are special fasteners for fixing the cable. Fix the cable from above and below. Now we will start connecting the lower part. First of all, we will put the cable through the hole towards the printing head. Now you will need to fix the mount itself. The mount is attached here. Now we are connecting the printing head itself. For convenience, let's raise the print head. Here we have three plugs. The long cable is the power supply for the UV lamp. It's connected very simply and in only one position. The cable snaps like this. Next, we connect the fiber optic cable itself. For ease of connection, you can temporarily disconnect the central plug. We take it off and see the fiber optic connector from behind. The tip of the fiber itself. It is desirable not to touch the white part with your hands. Do not scratch against metal objects. Screw it all the way in and then return it. The last step is to connect the power plug, which provides power to the print head. It connects very simply and in only one place. We turn on the power of the sound alarms, 
which are located above the tanks. The second connector is also connected to the power supply, which is responsible for heating the paint tanks from below. These cables can be connected in any sequence. The cables are connected and, if desired, you can swap. The location does not matter for work. That's it. The assembly stage is complete.